Customer said I must not know my boss very well. I work for my dad. Pretty great story from work this morning where I got to one up this guy. So I'll start by saying I work for my dad at his store. I work the front counter and interact with most people customers. Also, I look a lot more like my mom. My dad runs a separate business as well, but anybody who needs to talk to him for either business can usually find him in the office here. So this guy shows up this morning looking pretty ruffled and asks if my dad was here. I replied you just missed him he is out for the morning doing a couple things he was very displeased by this information, and was acting very loud unprofessional. He started looking around the store and eventually came back to the front counter with a piece of equipment that he wanted to trade for some work, that he apparently did for him before. Keep in mind I know most of my dad's workers and have never seen this guy before. I told him that I don't do any negotiations while he's not here and I can't just let him leave the store with something for free. I told him that normally he probably wouldn't want to take that route, but he was welcome to discuss it with him once he's back. He looked at me and replied you're making a big mistake here and you must not know very well, because he would do this for me and blah blah blah. I just looked at him and replied, I actually do know him quite well, seeing as he is my father. I told him that he could either leave or wait for my dad to get back. He kind of looked up at me and was pretty speechless, I could tell he felt stupid and regretted his comment. He ended up waiting around in his truck for my dad to show up and guess what? He wasn't gonna do a trade. It's almost like I know my boss well. Apparently the guy just worked like two days for him and then quit. Plus the thing he wanted was way more expensive than what he was owed side note the pay wasn't made yet because we are bi-weekly. I swear some of the people around here are nuts. But a petty don't you know who I am? Moment made my day. I worked for a florist while I was going to college. It was owned by a husband and wife. Her name was Joan, but it was pronounced like Joan. Seemed like once a month someone would come in wanting a discount, dropping Joan's name, but pronouncing it incorrectly. I always loved the look on their face when I'd correct them, subtly letting them know I was aware they didn't really know her or they would know how to say her name. Ah, the classic I know the owner card. Bold move, sir. Guy thinks he has a royal flush, turns out just a pair of twos. I used to get that when I worked for my parents too. The best one was about a year after my dad died and some investment guy was cold calling. We never started out with he died it was always I'm sorry, he's not working here anymore. This one dips hit got all tetchy and said to my mom don't give me that gatekeeping bullshit, I just talked to him last week. My mom said that he must get better reception than her because she doesn't have a line to the afterlife he hung up on her. Dips hit. Where I worked we had a guy whose last name was Kesar. We, at work, always pronounced at Ku S.A.R. A guy calls and asks for John K. S.A.R. The engineer who answered the phone said actually, that's pronounced Ku S.A.R. He's not here. Can I take a message? Yes. Please tell him his father called and have him call me back. It is funny how shitty workers are just shitty people. My father had a guy working for him 50 years ago when customers paid cash for much of the work. This worker was handed a payment to pass along to my father, and the guy took his salary out of the payment. My father was never late with salary and paid well. The guy was super upset when my father fired him on the spot. This was also an era without two week severance, so that pay was instantly his last pay. My father mentioned this to a few other people in the same business and they all had fired this guy for one reason or another. When people come into my workplace and say they know the owner, I'll say that's cool, Jack is a great guy. Once they rant about Jack for a while, I remind them that a woman owns the place so, they probably don't know her all that well. Had a really arrogant guy come to me wanting to borrow some tools. He was really impolite. I stopped him told him no. He replied do you know who I am? By then I had two phones ringing a regular customer waiting. I looked at the waiting customer said rather loudly I'm sorry about the delay but I've got this idiot here who doesn't know who he is demanding. I let him take tools. The idiot who didn't know who he was turned out to be the owner of the company. I'd only been there a few days so had never met him. I don't work there anymore. 
working for your dad does afford amazing opportunities like this. Dads make the best and sometimes the worst bosses. Hope you all are running a well-oiled family first business op. I worked for my father for a couple years. Regularly had patients trying to get some special whatever. Every now and again one would talk about how well they knew him. If he was unavailable, I'd usually have to handle these which were typically funny. Don't remember you coming over to the house or breaking bread with us. Now, because they were sometimes sick or needed a form filled out or whatever, we'd try to accommodate, but that's for anyone. Real friends of the family would just sheepishly ask on the weekend or by calling the home numbers. Same kind of story here, I managed a car wash as part of a small chain. I had so many customers demand that I get the GM for them. Little did they know he's my brother, we look nothing alike. So when I'd call him and say bro, got a customer that's demanding to speak to you. Then hand them the phone, he would then tell them that they were wasting his time and he wouldn't have anything different to tell them. You are just going to have to accept what my brother has already told you. And then I'd ask, well, what did he say? Never got tired of that. I loved working for my dad after I was married and no longer shared my maiden name. The deflation you could hear or see was chef's kiss. I owned my business for over two decades and I had many people come in and tell me to my face they are friends with the owner. Me, the owner, you're friends with me. Some would even argue when I said no you aren't. I partly wonder if it was because I was in the same work uniform my employees wore and I was out in the shop working with them. Congratulation, that was nice to read. When I worked catering, people used to tell me I know name all time to get whatever they were not supposed to have. I always replied me too and kept on denying them whatever they wanted. Name was not the owner, only the head sales guy everyone who booked at the hall had to deal with him. A company I was office manager for had a system. The owner had code words for friends. I could hang up on anyone else asking for him as a friend. Freaking gold. I love this. I can 100 relate to to work at my parents' smoothie shop in early college early 2000s. The cheapskate regulars always try to pull a fast one on me trying to get more stuff for the same price. Like people, I'm the owners you daft. Gif emote free emotes pack joy gif emote free emotes pack joy. You must not know him very well. Not as well as my mom does, anyway. Gif gify wrburfbzmqqshu. I can relate. I work the front desk and answer phones for the company that my uncle and aunt own. I've had salespeople call and come into the office and tell me how long they have known and been friends with my uncle, so he would love to hear from me. I have never gotten to answer well I'm their niece and have known and worked with them longer and never heard of you, but I would love to. I used to get calls all the time asking for the owner by using his first name instead of doctor last name. I always replied, he's with a patient, I'd be happy to take a message. One time the caller replied, oh, I meant to call his cell. Tell him his sister Lisa called to wish him happy birthday. She busted out laughing when I said, hold on let me check if he's really with a patient. Nicely done. As a former employee of a parent I worked for my mom, I approve this message. I own a business and I have a few friends that own businesses also. We all help each other out when we can but never ask each other for favors when it comes to paying jobs. I work for you, you pay me. You work for me, I pay you. We've all been burned by friends and family. Where's your manager? Shed single tear he left to get milk. Always fun in retail when you stump stupid. Light skin tone clapping hand sign light skin tone clapping hand sign. You handled that situation well. A long time ago I worked for a company named Patrick, it was the owner's name but it was his first name not his last. I loved every time a customer would try to throw his weight around by saying he was a personal friend of Mr. Patrick's. I used to have people come in and try that with me all the time. Even complaining to the manager lol I don't like anything like my dad because I'm adopted so they never would have guessed I was his kid. Best was when I was old enough to manage the stores and people would complain to a cashier and ask them to call a manager after they already talked to me lol I'd walk up and ask what the problem was and how I could help 